welcome to the very first video in our brand new series where we'll be building a complete production level school management system from scratch uh, I've already set up the project uh, using filament and its tenancy so I am using the filament tenancy and I'm not going to show you for this setup because I think you already know because we have been doing this in our world videos too so I think we are ready to dive in and also I have created a block site so where I will be listing all my so where you will find all the project roadmaps or upcoming videos or any useful other resources that we have discussed here right and also I would like to you to give your feedback suggestions or any features that you specifically want so that I can just complete my series uh, complete this site and if we complete uh, the block first it will be easier for me to cover the uh, tutorial and videos planning will be much more easier I think and also if you would like to support this effort uh, even with a few cents uh, I have added a link in the description so your support will means a lot and keeps things uh, content coming so in this video what we are going to do is uh, so we'll be creating academic sessions that is just a name I started in date maybe we'll have classes we'll have sections and we'll link class to these sections right we are not uh, going to create the sections uh, for the classes we'll just separate the section entity uh, the reason for this is suppose we have the sections like uh, a b c obviously for each classes we need to rewrite this right so besides that we are not going to do that we'll just create a section a b c and then we'll have a class sections as a pivot table where we'll use class and sections right uh, so let's get started from academic sessions okay so let me just zoom in and okay so here first of all I will just make the make filament sorry <laughs> make model uh, academic session and let me just migrate this after that we need um, classes sections and then I need to migrate this right and similarly I need oh, I make it classes let me make it the uh, not classes let me just delete this let me make it classroom uh, so that it will not conflict with filament uh, PSP class so we, we may get confused right so let me just make classroom and then I will have sections as a CTI way and a section and then uh, let's say class section I think we don't need the class section attribute still uh, model but I still I will just create this okay so I ha we have the four migration ready let us quickly add them so the first thing we need is foreign ID uh, so it's team ID if you see here uh, I'll just make it as a team I have team with name and data and the team user to attach them for now I have not added any extra information for here if we need we'll just work on it later so team ID um, references ID on teams right similar dollar table string maybe name and then I think we may need start date let me just make it null level and then in date in date null level and then the, I'll just add the session data field for now uh, okay let me just make it null level uh, one person has asked me in the comment section about this why I always add this data uh, column in the maximum of migration file the reason for this is so once we have developed a system sometimes the client 
ask us to just add some information suppose they need in academic section they just need to enter uh, the information like let's say um, what may be there uh, okay let's just say uh, any attribute any things like uh, session Uh, I, I am not getting any idea on this <laughs> uh, or okay let's suppose in our classrooms so for now I'll be just adding this okay let me just explain you it there it will be much more easier for now okay we will have name we don't need to start date or in date right I'll just add here the uh, integer short and then default will be zero the reason for this is uh, let's say um, if we want to create a custom navigation for classrooms at least we can we need to sort them in order like class 1 class 2 class 3 class 4 in that way rather than uh, showing out in the user creation way uh, right because user can add grade 1 then grade 3 but at least if they can sort then we'll just they will be in order and the reason for this okay data is suppose now they don't uh, inst in classrooms they want something like uh, Eli's name let's say right or any other names Eli's name or anything but they just want to enter it there is no use in any other cases then for that we need to rewrite the migration file right so to solve that issue I'm just using the data column because sometimes there will be the case where we just need to show them the form and they can enter and then we can show that the value in the table so we don't need to write the migration rather we can just customize our form and table that's the main purpose for this okay so let me just copy this let me go to sections and then copy this name sort okay uh, sections is also having short I don't think here it will it's necessary and then class sections so it means for when I uh, it's classrooms right classroom ID references uh, ID on classrooms similarly for an ID section ID references ID on sections okay I think our table is ready let me quickly migrate this yeah done so now let me go to my model from academic session so now what I need to do is protect I need to use the fillable to add all my attributes so here if I go back to academic session I have team ID name start date in date and data team ID name start date in date and then data right and then similarly for classroom I have team ID name and I think I have the sort right class section I have team ID name and no team ID class ID section ID I don't need team ID here do I have in class section no right because it will be directly linked with classroom and section so we don't need there and then similarly for section we have team ID name only and then data that's it so after that uh, if you remember in every case we need the relation with team right so the, there are two ways for doing that let's say three ways the first one I need to add the method and let's say public function team return dollar this belongs to team class right so similarly for team now then for classroom I need to sorry for classroom I need to paste it same for section I need to paste this right but I think this is gonna be quite a lazy walk 
right so what we can do is the first thing we can create the model like this let's say base model that PSP and then here I need to create from the command my bad okay let me just paste it here so let's say base model extends the base model right and here we will just add team and for each other model I will just extend my base model the reason for this is now I don't need to define this relation that is already here right so I hope you understand this so besides that if you feel think this is also quite a lazy work then the one another way is let me just close this all first what I can do is I can create the traits right and I can see uh, team relation dot PSP oh. and here its name is space I need to write a tra traits and here I can create class team relation sorry trait public function team return dollar this uh, belongs to team is just to class that's it now I can just use this trait in every where now I don't need to define this relation every time now I can just say use team relation that's it because the relation is already defined here I think this will be much more easier idea right uh, I don't need base model now please uh, okay for classroom I can just use team relation that's it uh, for class sections we don't need that for section we can use use team relation that's it but now similarly with team now I need to add for relations right so with academic session so I need to do a public function academic sessions the relation will be has many return color this has many academic session class similar let me just paste it uh, then I need with classroom right so I can just use classrooms as many classroom right and similarly last one is sections and then the model will be section right so we have the three relationship and then the everything is defined now let's move towards the filament part so PSP artisan make filament resource academic session and I think there was underscore underscore generate command to generate the form fields uh, yeah it will now generate me all the keys by itself right so I think it will be much more easier for me let me refresh here it's taking some time yeah I have academic session here uh, I don't need team ID and I just had the default this okay let me just create the section and then schema and then inside schema I will just put these things okay and then I have name I have start date okay I have in date I have data data should be just uh, key value perfect and then in the side academic session what I can do protected dollar costs data to be as a JSON field okay and it's on the same for me in the classrooms in the sections maybe okay that's it if I go here now if I let's say 2025 its start date was let's say Jan 
one eighteen date will be let's say twenty twenty six. Uh, then one let's say, and if I try to create, yeah, it's created. If I go back here, here I have already the required information. I just need to modify here. Like I don't need team ID. Okay, name is there. Let make let me make it sortable. Start date is there. If this is your created it is okay updated is also here okay they are in table level that's it it's perfect i think we have finished this right so similarly uh, let us create for classroom right and similarly i'll just create for section uh SCCTI one section that's it if i refresh here yeah i have for classroom i have for sections yes okay let me go to classroom resource here uh, i don't need team id i just need name and then the data right and this should be text input it should be key value and here also i don't need team i need name it should be sortable okay sort table i don't need to show here created it and updated it okay perfect so classrooms are also ready okay let me just put it inside the sections components section make schema that's it okay grade one great classrooms yeah i have grade one similarly for sections i have already the sections resource and here i just need to copy the same form schema because the required field are almost same and then here i don't need team id that's it and if i go now to section section a that's it yeah now we have successfully created these three things academic sessions classrooms and sections so i will stop this in this video uh, so in the next video what we are going to do is we are going to modify the academic sessions uh, sorry we are going to modify this uh, navigations right and we'll just group them in a single navigation and also what we are going to do is we are going to attach sections to the classroom that is our the second video target and the last thing that we are going to do is we are going to create the custom navigation so that if i will create let's say grade to class here all this class will be shown here in the menus right so that they can easily access for the students so we'll also be working on that thank you guys for watching this video stay tuned and stay updated